since I only have 15 minutes, I figure out it's uh, there's no point to go into a few basic facts about the calorie flow. And uh, so, so I think I give you a, a bit of, uh, of uh, the few uh, uh, what we know about calorie flow uh, for for beginners. So then uh, I give you a little bit of overview of uh, things. Okay. Um, <coughs> So, uh, so basically, um, um, as you s see from uh, John's talk, um, we, for, uh, for rich flow in the two dimensions, everything's nice. And now then you want to do a high dimensions. So um, basically, what you can do without a priori curvature conditions, you, you can do a lot. Only in the case of three manifold, you heard a lot yesterday, and this calorie flow case. Okay. So, so, so this is uh, like a two way of doing. A, uh, maybe I uh, skip a first few. So yesterday I already talked about. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't stand on this side. So, so yesterday I talked about uh, this uh, uh, Einstein matrix. I mean Monday, sorry, and uh, and we have a couple of theorems. And, uh, but today I will talk about the uh, uh, calorie flow. So, so basically, uh, cal calorie flow actually pro uh, provided uh, a very nice way of doing uh, geometry. And, uh, and uh, uh, so there is a whole program going on. I, we probably call it the analytic minimum model program because it's analytic and, uh, and it carries all the, inf all the uh, Similar to be in the correspondence, one-to-one -one correspondence with the minimum mod things in the minimum model, uh, which involve a classification of algebraic, uh, algebraic manifolds. Okay, so so let me start with the Ricci flow. Okay, so uh, John already said the uh, Ricci flow uh, quite a bit about the Ricci flow a moment ago, and uh, in particular we have a uh, and uh, local existence, also called uh, modular. Uh, Module some diffeomorphism is unique, and uh, and uh, and uh, I guess John didn't prove it. So let's see uh, in the Keller case. So what is the Keller Ricci flow? So Keller Ricci flow is just the Ricci flow. Restrict to color matrix. Okay, so I mean, first thing you answer whether this is uh, you can do a re restriction because uh, space of color matrix is only a subset, or at least say make it nice, say sub manifold inside of uh, space of matrix, and now you have a deformation. You want to make sure this deformation is uh, preserve this class so. You know, intuitively speaking, you have to see this tangent vector of this, uh, this deformation process has to be always tangent to a space of color matrix. And indeed, it's true. So, 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 so this is true. So this is the first thing. Okay. So how do we prove it? The prove it is uh, once, one way to prove it is, uh, is the following. If an uh, initial matrix is color, So that's GT along the flow. Okay. So namely, for example, this uh, compatible with the complex structures, and the color form is closed. So how do you do that? How do you do that? Maximum principle. And you, you, what you can do? I mean, naive way to do that. Maximum principle. You look at your complex structure, and uh, you consider this tensor. And, and the computer evolution equation of that, see, it's always zero if initially it's zero. Okay. And you want to compute the equation of that, and the right hand side is also only involve those terms. Then maximum principle tells you it's zero. So then next you check the scalar form. You compute of this, and you get something. And I'm sure you it's it worked out. Okay, and this side only involves some uh, 
Laplace of uh, this tensor, or maybe the first derivative of this tensor, then because initially it's zero and it's always zero. It, it's probably parabolic. But uh, the better way to do that is the following. Since John didn't prove a local existence, so, so this is not quite a valid thing. So, so, so other way to do that is the following. So maybe we just try to solve this equation in a calorie flow case. Okay? So, so let me see some, uh, oh, it's also tell you uh, why is so uh, we, we can get a lot of things in the Keller geometry, uh, rather, uh, on the other, other hand, in the, in the, in the remaining geometry, it's become much difficult question. So, 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 so what you, you can do is the following. Yesterday I said is, uh, you look at the Keller form, see, this is the Keller form of uh, Of G, the initial metric. Okay. Now, pretend you have a. So I write this. I, 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 writing this, we already assume this flow preserve a Keller metric, Keller class. So then I write the flow in terms of uh, Ricci curvature and the Ricci form. So, so what I can do is I look at this flow. Okay. I mean, right now I don't have existing. I just. Uh, as, Assuming everything okay, I can do that. Okay, and uh, since uh, this is a closed form, and uh, for Keller matrix, if I can solve it, so this is also closed form. Yesterday I said, so uh, the Monday I said, so so you take a cohomology class of this. Okay, take cohomology, and uh, this side is always a full chain class, or maybe try two pi of full chain class. M is end line manifold, okay, and uh, so this side. So so what you get is this is a d over dt. The changing of a cohomology class is given by this, which is constant. Okay, so then you immediately see uh, the omega t, the cohomology class. So must be a omega zero in the initial one, and the minus two pi of t of c one m. Maybe sometimes I drop two pi, so you, and define how, how you define a full chain class. Okay. So 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 it must be this. Okay, it must be this. So ratio of omega means a ratio of uh, omega. That's right. So ratio omega means a ratio for, so locally this is given by minus of D D bar. Yes I said log of warning form. And the corresponding warning form. So, so that's so. So now, if I have this, I can do something. Make an equation. I transform equation into other equation, which is easier. Okay. So what I can do is, uh, you choose the initial, you choose a family of matrix. Okay. So such that this is given by this. And minus two pi of uh, maybe minus t of phi. Okay, the phi is a form. Phi represents a first chain class. A two pi of first chain class. Sorry, two pi of first chain class. Okay, so phi is a form. So it's of local is of this form i j bar. Maybe square root is always some dz i wedge dz j bar. Dz j bar. Okay. So you you take some form which is of locally of this form, and you want and of course you want this closed, and this represents a first chain class. Okay. So so then you you set up this. Okay. So now assume I have a solution. This has the same cohomology class as this one. So, so that implies by how I said last time, omega t can be written as omega tilde t. So omega tilde t is not a reference. It's not unique. You mean different people may choose different one, but uh, but this only subject to this condition. Okay, and minus uh, t 
maybe I use the different uh, file always I'd like to use as a function so let's use the form which which is a good form so text theta okay <laughs> I'm sorry so, okay so so theta okay and the plus the uh, square root of the dd bar functions maybe I use a u la, so okay, to, to save it. so so then the previous I can even use the phi too, okay. So 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 this is because DD bar lemma because these two forms have a same cohomology class. Okay. So now I plug this in. Plug this in. So plug into this equation, see what I get to do a reduction. So this is a theta, right? Because there's a T here. Okay. So minus and plus the square root of dd bar because dd bar has nothing to do with time du dt okay du dt and uh, and uh, this uh, and minus uh, uh, the ratio coach minus ratio okay and the theta represents the ratio too so i can further write the theta as the following because theta is a form represents a first chain class, I can say uh, that uh, so so we can write a particular theta which is uh, locally given by minus square root of dd bar of log of some warning form, right? Because warning form give you a first chain class. Okay, so this is only locally. I mean globally, you don't you cannot take a function of uh, take a log of a form. But this is locally it's just given by function times warning warning form in the coordinates and only take that part. So 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 then I, if I put this, I move this to other side, there's a square root. So I drop square root, I take a dd bar, du dt equal to a minus so this square root here, and minus square root, and the dd bar log and omega t to n, this is warning form, and over omega. And how do I get this? This is here. I move this to other side and do this. The, the ratio is well defined. Now, warning form is not, def uh, I mean, warning is not function, but ratio of two warning form is function. It's globally defined. So, so, so then you can drop this. Maybe up to some constant, but yeah, you you may you may shift you by some constant because you is only a function. I mean, you defined here, you can add some constant depends on t here. Okay. So so by changing a u, you get the following. So so by shifting that, you get du dt and the minus the log and the omega t and the, which is omega tilde t. I'm sorry, omega tilde t is already that. Sorry, I don't have this. Okay, I'm sorry for that. So omega tilde t, which is omega zero minus t theta, and plus the square root of d d by u of n over capital omega, which is fixed. Which is fixed. Okay. And u, you can set u equal to zero, is just zero. Okay, initial value. Now, this is a parabolic equation. Special when the t is sufficiently small, this doesn't matter. This is a positive. This is makes sense. It's a parabolic equation. It's a scalar equation, and you can solve it. It's a parabolic scalar. So, so this one star here has a solution. As a solution, okay. So that implies you take a dd bar on all sides. That implies that this rich flow has a solution. Has a solution with the initial value, initial omega g zero. And uh, this solution is among the Keller matrix. So 
So I provide this way, instead of solving original equation, I look at this equation, I take dd bar, I get solution of Ricci flow, which are purely by Keller matrix. So that's, since the solution is unique, that must be also. This also shows this. This is also given this, okay? And, uh, and this is, uh, um, this is uh, uh, good, better in the case in the original equation because this is, uh, let me put this way. So basically what we are doing now, in the Keller geometry, I erase the other things. So I look at this flow, okay? I look at this flow. Look at this flow. And uh, it is nice parabolic flow and omega is kept omega is fixed volume form. Okay? And the theta is a fixed volume form and theta is given by theta is determined by omega. Okay. Basically I have omega here. Okay. So okay. So that's what I came to next. So this is how the calorie flow did uh, nicely. So and uh, it also it's the uh, same same basically principle applies to a Keller Einstein case. That's why one can solve this uh, Calabi conjecture and so on. So, so, so you can, so it's a theorem, which I said here. Maybe I don't need to, I cannot go other side. So the Keller Rich flow has a unique maximized solution GT from zero to capital T. And uh, capital T is a, is a maximum of a T such that uh, this is a Keller class. That means this cohomology class, I, maybe I should put two pi there in, in the previous convention, okay? The, 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 so, so maybe I should say, so, so this condition should be, uh, this is omega is little zero and uh, T two pi of first chain class in our notation here. This is positive. That means it has a Keller class. It has a form, positive one one form. So it can this cohomology class can be represented by some form which is positive. Okay, so it's, so this is represented by some say i j bar d z i locally such that this matrix is positive. So of course this is a necessary condition because uh, whenever you have a solution, you have a Keller metric up to that moment, and that class, and this is a Keller class, and that Keller class has, if there's solution, that has that Keller metric, right? So it, so this has to be necessary condition, and this only turns out to be sufficient too. Okay, so so of course this condition weaker is just say it's cohomological condition. Okay, it's a. It's, uh, it's only represented by some positive form, not necessarily the solution. Then you can find the solution. Okay. So that's why I say you get this, uh, this sharp local existence, uh, local existence. So, so this was uh, uh, actually, uh, the way of approving this is, uh, was, was known for a long time. So, so that's uh, notable that two important cases. One is uh, this is, uh, Cow. So we proved that if uh, if uh, say uh, one case if uh, like a case we consider in the in a Keller Einstein case, if this C one M, say maybe I should pi two pi of that, is a uh, lambda of C uh, of omega zero. Okay, so lambda you can normalize as three cases, and then the uh, your t is a, uh, then the t is a, uh, t is a uh, infinity, infinity if lambda is minus one, lambda is zero, and one. And this case corresponds to an example John mentioned the last time. It's because uh, this corresponds to some, uh, for example, take a project space, complex project space. It has homogeneous metric and uh, it's, it's positive, has lambda equal to one, and, uh, and uh, you, you can see the maximum is one, because, uh, because
because, uh, because of this condition, at the time equal t equal to 1, this becomes identical to 0. So everything contract to a point. So in other cases, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you, can, you, can, you have a long time solution, long time solution, okay. long time solution. And, uh, <coughs> and, uh, and, and long time solution, and, uh, and you can also see uh, a cow actually prove in those two cases, after renormalizing a volume, the solution actually converges to a Kalanistan matrix. So in this way, he, he reproved uh, this. Uh, uh, reproved this uh, uh, Oban Yao theorem and the, and the Club Yao theorem. Okay. And uh, there was also uh, this uh, work by Suji, actually. And <coughs> so, this uh, check I mentioned here was uh, originally first used by Su Suji. Okay. Because in the cost case, this is fixed. Somehow, you don't need to choose a family of reference metrics. Okay. It's, a, it's a nice observation. So, so Talking about this, since uh, so I guess uh, now it's in the Saint Petersburg, and uh, Grisha is here. <laughs> and uh, last time I saw him is uh, in MIT for 2003, I think 2003, I guess. So it's 10 years ago, and uh, at that time he was he he's still interested in the Rishi flow, <laughs> and uh, uh, one thing he asked few he asked us number of questions. One thing about this Kelly Rich flow. Uh, he knew the cause theory, but he didn't know this reduction here. Yeah. I'm sure he if he thought enough, long enough it's it should be okay. But so 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 anyway so so this is uh, uh, for Keller case you can do these uh, general reductions. Okay. General reductions. So so what happens to a GT as the T tends to this, tends to this, okay? So the in contrast to a, to, a, to a real remaining geometry case, you don't know how to determine a capital T, okay? Okay, there is a criterion, say, if, if you develop a singularity finite time and the curvature has to blow up, of course, that's intuitively clear because uh, how do you develop a singularity? That's be some, some part of space has to be very, very, how do I say, curvature has to be very, very big, right? Because it's a very, very curved, okay? So, so, so in the, however, in the Keller case, you have such a simple algebraic condition, a simple cohomological condition, okay? So, a simple cohomological condition here. So, so this is, okay. so, so or some people can say it's a, you can draw the picture, so in the, in the H2, say suppose this is in your H2, okay? H2 of uh, N, R, and H11 of MC, and you have a color code. So this is color code. So that means that all this cohomology can be represented by some positive form. So then your flow, Basically, starting from omega zero here, and uh, then goes to, if you touch the boundary, then, I mean, this, this direction is pointed by mass first chain class, okay? So if you touch the boundary, then your flow stops, flow stops, okay? So, so, so then you, you ask what, uh, what is, uh, uh, what happens if, uh, if, uh, if T tends to capital T, okay? Of course, if initial metric color form is not a proportional to this, or it's not definitely such a T may exist, okay? So I already show you an example here, it exists, okay? So, so, so find the time singularity does happen, okay? So, so I sh sh tell you uh, the theorem, and uh, what's, uh, what's the old theorem of uh, um, uh, was uh, uh, Kawamada, and uh, so, so what is the status of uh, of this calorie flow here? So a lot of theorem, some of this uh, theorem we proved depend on uh, knowledge from algebraic geometry, which we hope to remove eventually. Okay, so so 
so but at the beginning, before we have a sufficient technical uh, techniques, uh, let's just uh, try to make sure there's uh, no contradiction to what we try to aim at. Okay. So, 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 so let's consider the case. If M is a projective manifold, that means uh, it's some manifold, closed some manifold in a projective space, complex project space. Okay. So omega zero is a rational class, namely omega zero as a cohomology class. So omega zero is just the initial metric, okay? I sometimes write this, I sometimes write depend. So this all emphasize dependence on flow. Uh, emphasize relation to flow, this is just uh, aperture giving. So, so this means this inside of this. Okay. So, so then uh, we know capital T is uh, rational. So here it's not uh, I proved by using Ricci flow, I should say. It's, uh, I basically try to appeal to some uh, strong theory, deep theory. Okay. So, and uh, and omega zero minus capital T at the, uh, again, there's two pi, I drop it, I warn you, okay? It's the semi ample, okay? So semi ample means what? It's a, it's a name, okay? So the, the semi ample simply means uh, you have a map from this such that uh, you pull back this uh, some color form on the X, you get this, okay? And uh, this is positive when you pull back because uh, Phi has uh, may kill some direction. So when you pull back, this 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 only represents a form which is semi-positive. So phi star omega x, when you pull back, it's only semi-positive. Okay. You can also say in terms of Holonov line bundles, namely it's, uh, it's base point free. Okay. So 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 line bundle with uh, whose first chain class is given by this. If you're raising a pole, line bundle many times, tensor itself many times, then you get sufficient many sections which are base point free. So which defines this map anyway. Okay. So generic fibers are fellow manifolds. Fellow manifolds. So, so the picture here is basically, I think it's a, <laughs> so, so picture here at the first capital time, what happened? At least by a, a Kawamada uh, uh, theorem. Okay. We actually, we expect this to be true for any kind of manifolds. But in that case, non, in non, if it's not projective, you cannot use Kawamada theorem. Kawamada theorem. Okay. So, so, but uh, there should be extension of that. So this probably is an interesting problem in a several complex, uh, complex analysis. Okay. Try to replace some of these global arguments by certain local arguments. Okay. So, so anyway, at point T, what happens is the following. You have X, okay? So you have X, and this is your M, and the fibers are given by some, uh, so let's put it this way. And the fibers are given by some uh, fellow manifolds. Okay? So fibers are positive curved, for example, like a Riemann sphere. Okay? So, so Ricci flow at finite time try to, tends to contract the positive things, right? That's what it exactly do. Because, uh, because uh, along these fibers, this is zero. So along the fiber, say, say I take a fiber here. So the omega, omega zero minus uh, C1, TC1, Restrict the fiber is identical equal to zero, so that means C one M of restrict the fiber is one over capital T of omega zero, and this is uh, positive. Positive. Okay. So same thing is true. Even you don't have a family, so you just contract some uh, some isolated uh, devices or the sub varieties. This condition is still true. So so I emphasize so rich flow. Kelly-rich flow at five time pick up uh, some some sub varieties, okay, such that the uh, first chain class is positive along that, along that. Okay. So, so, so in this line, I, uh, there are many uh, quite a few theorems. Maybe I just uh, cited uh, one theorem says uh, one case. Let's say if it's uh, 
if it's positive. No, volume is positive, so it's so-called big. Or so, so in this case, since this is a volume, that means uh, this phi I defined the, in the Kodaira, sorry, in the Kawamada map, m to x into a CPN, and the dimension of this, so this condition simply say dimension of this is the dimension of x. Okay. So, so this is so-called non-collapsing case. Okay. It's non-collapsing case. And, uh, and in this case, of course, phi still contracts things. But they contract uh, along the sub-varieties, only contract sub-varieties. Okay. So, so in, favor, in fact, this case is almost true. I mean, it's, it's true for almost all the varieties, projective varieties, because um, I don't know if you know it, if, uh, if M so called have a quadrilateral dimension zero, or none, sorry, zero or positive quadrilateral dimension, this condition is always true at the five dimensions. It's five dimensions. So low contraction of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of a family of device uh, sub varieties. Okay, it's uh, it's it's only contract uh, sub varieties. Okay, so 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 this um, I mean, if I give you a three dimensional picture, this is like uh, um, and you know, in the three dimension, you in five dimension only contract the spheres, spheres. Okay, and uh, <coughs> okay, so. So, so, so we have this. So at least in this case, we know this f flow converges to a smooth metric outside the sub variety. Outside what? Outside the sub variety which is contracted by phi. Contracted by phi. Contracted by phi. So, so, so this this is a. Okay. So, so then how do you continue the flow? Okay. I mean, it's a, from what the. Uh, Hamilton Paramount did, and certainly you are not contented to stop here, right? So can one continue the rich flow with omega t as the initial data? Okay, what is omega t? Singular form? And oh yeah, okay. So I think I dropped too many. So omega t is the following. So so the omega is the omega. Uh, no, I tell you, uh, yeah, yeah, let me write because uh, do intended to write uh, <laughs> Something on the blackboard to slow down the thing. So, so, so omega t is the solution, right? But uh, you wrote the the big t. Uh, uh, yeah, I understand. I, I explain. So, so this is the solution. Okay. So then uh, t. Uh, let's put this way. And this actually you can prove is converge to a omega t as uh, in some some. Form as currents or whatever. So, so there is some uh, way of say adjusting uh, limits. Though I, I don't know this is smooth. This convergence is unique. Okay. So let's, if you'd like, assume we are in a good situation. So, so this is like uh, these uh, limiting things. So I, I said under the previous condition, this is uh, on the previous. This is on the on M. So this is unique. So omega t is just, uh, so I already said a moment ago, at least under that condition, so omega t converges to a cap omega capital T outside the, outside the sub, sub varieties. Right? And uh, just believe this can extend to that, or as a distribution or whatever. So omega t is just an extension of that. And the omega t, which is only defined m minus s. On the next slide, you want omega t, omega big t to be the initial data. Not quite. OK. So let's uh, <laughs> the things. It's not quite. If that is the case, and, uh, and we are done. OK. So, so, so first I should say, t complex one dimensional or real two dimensional, everything was known. Let's don't worry, worry about that. Okay. So, so the complex equal two, two complex dimension two case. That's exactly as you said. Okay. Because that case, what we see here is a, 
you pick up some holomorphic spheres, which of self intersection number minus one, because that's the only case the full string class can be positive there. And you contract them. You get a new manifold X. And this omega t can descend to there, because the omega t vanishes, at least the cohomological vanishes along this holomorphic field. And you use these initial values to continue to continue the flow. Yes, you can do that. Two dimension you uh, do. But in high dimension, it's a bit more complicated. So, so basically, I guess here is the following. There is a resolution. Of course, the original manifold is a resolution. But this should be different resolution. Okay, So it's called a flip of original manifold. So, so then one can run. Okay. So I have a picture here. So n goes to x, that's a phi. So let's all just pretend we are in the projective case. Then what I want to say is this is that there's another phi 1 from m1. And these two are only birational each other. Okay, so this is a rational. Do you consider your M1 as some topological space or just as a resolution? And I actually expect this to be a project variety. Uh -huh. Okay, it's in particular it's a topological space. Okay, <laughs> so so usually this called M1 is to be a flip. It's flip is a typical um, case is a, maybe I forget it, a typical case. Anyway, so, so, so namely what you do is a, in a, you contract some uh, holomorphic spheres here, and then try to, try to, you get some uh, bad singularity, and you try to resolve in a different way so that the full chain class is negative there. Okay. So, so in, in, the, in case uh, if uh, n is 2, complex m is 2, then this m1 is just x. And uh, m is just the blow up. Two dimensional case, of course, the geometry is also simpler, of, uh, of m uh, uh, of x at the finite many points. So topologically, what uh, we did here is uh, you replace, you do some connection with the complex uh, and co CP2 bar. Okay, so, so okay, so this is uh, this, and this is actually many things we don't know yet. Okay, so but we we can check this is uh, this indeed the case if we assume some uh, deep theorem from a uh, uh, minimal model program. So if we use this uh, uh, Berger, uh, Caccini, Hacken, uh, McCullen theorem, and uh, we proved that if uh, x is, uh, is uh, if this dimension is same as this, and because they, they prove uh, the existing flip, then you can choose that to be a flip of that. Okay. And uh, continue the flow, continue the flow. So you continue the flow, uh, here I say it's, uh, you, you continue the flow, you move, and uh, this, Next time to develop singularity again is determined by uh, by uh, by some cohomological conditions. But this time, cohomological condition on M one instead of on the original M. Okay, of course, M one is related to M M M M. M. So 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 this kind of con con uh, conjecture for non collapsing case, of course, with help of that. Okay, um, so desirable to have some direct way of doing that. And uh, um, Gabriel Lalev and I had uh, had a suggestion of uh, of at least uh, which can deal with some singularities is uh, in terms of sympathetic caution. So it turns out the Keller Ricci flow is uh, is very much it's very similar to a sympathetic caution since if you if you know what the sympathetic caution is, you you check uh, and, uh, how how cohomology class changes. It's, uh, but anyway, so, so, so uh, general method is still missing, still missing, still missing. Okay. But I think that's probably it's just a matter of time. I don't know how long that time is, though. So. <laughs> so, 
So, so assume your conjecture one, so we can continue to carry reach flow on M1. Then we further apply the above procedures to get the solution of carry reach flow, and then do a leg surgery and so on. Okay, the surgery. So this way we get so-called carry reach flow with surgeries. So it, because uh, the solution is not like a, in a classical sense, but you, you at a certain time you need to you need to carry, do these uh, flip things, flip things. Flip, the role of flipping, just try to kill the pos positivity in the first chain class. Positivity in the first chain class. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and these, uh, these things, these two are not the same, but if you descend, the reach flow on this side and reach flow on that side, now, of course, reach flow on side with this uh, initial value, and this is limit metric. This descends to here, they coincide. They coincide. Of course, you expect the, the coincide because at least they coincide in the open subset. So we are, we are dealing some uh, equation or so, and it should be determined completely. So even though it's on, we are working on a different space, and the met flow on this side is completely determined by initial things. Okay. So the manifold X is um, glued somehow from that kind of first yes. So, so from here is you descend, I mean, you, you contract something, and then you, 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 you do some blow-ups. Uh, only thing here I want to say is uh, we, without uh, a priori knowledge from algebraic geometry, I, I don't know how to get this from there. And, but I think there should be a way of doing that, except we, you, somehow it's uh, along the flow, certain part contract, certain part expand, that's, uh, that's how you get from there to, to here. <coughs> so, so now we conjecture two, okay? So, so, so there is a N. So, so what this basic conjecture says is that only, you need to only do this surgery five and many times, okay? Only five and many times. And uh, then, the, then the, and so you do for five and many times, so I start with M, then next time you do, uh, do M2. So, so next time you do X1 and M2 and uh, so on. So eventually you get uh, M N minus one and it goes to X N minus one. So, so so in general, if I don't assume a non-collapsing, so after a certain time, it's because I state. Uh, so let's assume non-collapsing case. So, so then the, on this, the first chain class of this is non-positive. Non so you killed. So this conjecture basically, after five that many times, you killed all the positivities in the first chain class. So, so this supports a minimum model. So this, in terms of that, is a minimum model. So it's a minimum model of original manifold. So, 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 and it's birational to, to original one. Okay, the original one. And the minimum model is uh, mean satisfied. But itself may have singularities. I, I, um, post, po, um, po, purposely, I dropped that. Okay. So, so this basically says uh, there is a. Uh, uh, exists on minimum model. Okay. So, so only thing here I have a de natural deformation. You reach flow, okay. And the reach flow is uh, tends to make things nicer, okay. And uh, you start from any metric, and uh, after that many time you get a minimum model. And you start a different metric, after finite finite uh, time you get a minimum. Model. But this time maybe depends on initial metric, but eventually we get that, get get that. Okay. So. I think my uh, few minutes, I, so <coughs> maybe I drop this. So this tells you uh, this, uh, uh, there are some exceptional case you need to worry about because uh, as right now I only consider the case dimension of this is same dimension of that. But there might be a case in general, dimension of this drops. So then you, you, you see what happens, okay. So, so one case is after finally many times this become dimension zero, that's called it become extinct. So in a three-dimensional case, that's correspond to Pangori conjecture. 
that's, that's always the correspond to certain positive elliptic case. Okay. So, so, so now we assume MN exists. Say, so MN exists, that's the minimum model exists, okay? And with this condition, then by this theorem I listed at the beginning uh, due to uh, myself and Zhang Zhou, I have a global solution. I have a solution for all the time now. Okay. No need to pick up a finite time singularity. So, so, so then you ask what is the limit at time infinity? Okay. So this corresponds to three dimensions. You kill all the spheres, elliptic part, then you can have a long time solutions. Okay. And uh, then you ask uh, after certain normalization, what is the limit? You may still contract that time you contract tori, and this time you contract, uh, contract uh, kind of calabria like it's flat things, flat things. Okay. So, 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 what is limiting canonical metric? It's not necessarily Kähler Einstein. So, so to do that, we do a scaling. Okay, we do a scaling. So, so the time we're concerned is lambda is minus one. Okay, so we do a scaling. Okay, scaning to keep some. Uh, otherwise, volume goes to infinity. That's nothing we can say. Okay. So, so we do some scaling, and this time the, the solution exists for all the times. Okay. So the, the case uh, uh, related to us is lambda equal to minus one. So in our case, okay, in our case. Okay. Although you can still consider other cases. Okay, you can other cases. So. So, so what is the structure? I only tell you a thing. So, so actually, this part essentially we know. Uh, we we know it, except we don't know. We still, I mean, there are still some problem left to, uh, I mean, highly non-trivial problem left to to study exactly what the name. I mean, to to study a convergence. Okay, the, uh, pre get pre more precise information on the convergence. So, 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 but I remind you some uh, these uh, things we expect. So M is a minimal model, at least in the project case by, Koda, uh, by Kawamata theorem, it says uh, there's a map from M into project space by, by anti-canonical sections, and subject to this condition, at least. Okay. So, and the fibers, fibers, I mean, it could be zero dimensional, then not much to say. If fibers are, uh, or, or curl of pi is not zero dimensional, and those must be Calabria spaces. Because, uh, because uh, that's a first turn clause is restricted as zero. Okay. So, so basically, what I have here is uh, the n has a canonical model. Canonical model is different from a minimum model, and uh, m in general is a is a vibration over canonical model. Okay. And the vibration is given by a is given by a Calabria, a family of Calabria. It might be singular fibers, but generically, it's a Calabria submanifold. And uh, so because it's a uh, fibers of Calabi Yau, so maybe I drop this, okay. <laughs> so this I try to analyze more and uh, things. So there are two limiting cases. One case is a lim the, the uh, canonical model is a, has the same dimension as M, and this is already proved. There is a limit, which is can limit as Kähler Einstein metric. And uh, that's another case. The can canonical model is zero dimensional. That's correspond to a case of called quadratic dimension is zero. So that's basically like a singular Calabria space. Okay. And those two cases uh, you you get what a canonical matrix is a Calabria matrix may have singularities or Kähler Einstein matrix. So this correspond to Oban case, Oban Yau case that's correspond to Calabria Yau case. Okay. So then you have a things between. Okay. Of course in the end if a dimension n is one, there's nothing between. You only have a hyperbolic, flat, and a sphere. Sphere become extinct at finite time, and you only, in the long time, you only consider tori or hyperbolic, high genus Riemann surfaces. But for, for dimension high, you have intermediate case. In fact, uh, in the John's uh, talk the yesterday, it's, uh, you also have this. In the three dimensional case, there are eight kinds of geometry. That's three. It's a elliptic, flat, and hyperbolic. 
That's like correspond to Kalin-Einstein case. You have other five kinds of geometry which are degenerate. So it's correspond to quadratic dimension between one and n minus one. Okay. So, <coughs> and the picture there should be a similar to here. Okay. And except here has more cases, might be. Okay. But still, things is in a in a complex the Keller case is uh, still their hope to do it. So. So let's assume this uh, quadratic dimension between these. So it's the intermediate case. So that's what I said is uh, you have a vibration. So, so this uh, map. So I have this uh, map from M to M canonical. So the dimension of this, this is chi pi of M canonical now is less than the dimension of M. So, so then the fibers, generic fibers are collabial. So, so then you get a developing map from a base from M canonical, maybe minus some devices where the fibers are singular, okay, into a modular space of a collabial. So this called developing map. It tells you with how fiber varies, the complex structure of how fibers varies. Okay. So, so, so then it comes with a class of metrics, which is not Kalin-Einstein, but they are as canonical as Kalin-Einstein. We don't have a good name, but we do this. So this is where piston metric on the, on the modular space, Calabial space. You use the developing map. So this metric is here. It's canonically defined. So this is a, WP on here. Okay. And uh, you pull back. It has some singularities uh, along this E, but it's actually singularity not too bad. Okay. Uh, I mean, so then you consider this. So actually, the case we consider is lambda equal to 1. In the logic, actually, this equation is a very general equation. It includes all the complex large limits. In that case, lambda is zero for case resurface case. So, so, <coughs> so, but in, in the Keller Richfield case, I only concern the case lambda equal to minus one. Okay. So, so uh, one simple case you can set is n equal two. So then this case, as John said yesterday, the Calabial space is the tori. So this is, uh, then this time, now this is one time this is one dimensional so so then this is just the h two by s l two r a two z right so and the l two metric here is simply a hyperbolic metric here you can compute okay you can compute so 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 you have this equation and uh, and uh, that's what uh, Sun and I proved for any initial color metric g zero with uh, left, that means after final minor surgery now. So these things uh, always converge to a, some of these generalized, uh, converge to a, some generalized Kalin-Einstein metric here. Kalin-Einstein. And this is unique. So the, the equation I said before can be solved, and the solution is unique and the canonical mode. Okay, so I summarize. So, you start with uh, giving a Keller, uh, at least giving a projection manifold. You start, you, you run the Keller Ricci flow, you run the Ricci flow, and uh, at certain finite time, you may, may redevelop singularities. You contract the certain things, and find, find many times, uh, then you continue the flow, then you, do, you may contract again. But after finite many times, you will get a minimal model, then the Ricci flow has a solution for all the time from that time on. So in the limit, it converges to a unique metric on a canonical model, no matter which metric you start with. So this is like a final destination for, for all the things you start. So, so, so as I said, it's a, a many things I proved here, for example, here a long time. And the, the key things is about the, how to do a flips or how to, how to continue flow at a finite time. Thank you very much.